Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm so excited. I received my ColourPop and Star Wars C-3PO palette. I also purchased the Darth Vader palette. I bought these in a duo for, I believe, $29. I love this metallic packaging. I'm not going to use the Darth Vader one today because I really want to just focus on this one today. Just look how pretty these shades are. I have all of the Star Wars palettes. I love Star Wars myself. I cannot. Star Wars is just one of those things that I grew up on and I just I love it so much. So when I saw this I knew I instantly had to get it. It's such a beautiful goldeny toned eyeshadow palette. I love the shades you get in here. Of course I will do a close-up and some swatches for you and I will go from top to bottom. I have Bolt, Droid, Tatooine, Golden in one translator etiquette companion six million and programming i love the feeling of this packaging it's kind of like soft touch soft matte touch packaging which the glam light collection which i just reviewed also had that kind of packaging and it just feels very luxe I am going to do two looks with this eyeshadow palette today. Uh, I've been doing a lot of three look videos and it's very time consuming to edit them. So I think two looks would be perfect to showcase how this palette is and how it performs. So if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. I have one eye primed and I don't really know what I'm going to be doing today. I think I'm going to take this shade called Programming. It's the deep brown on a very thin angled brush. And I'm going to kind of start kind of winging this out. My boyfriend said to do a look that I normally wouldn't do. So I'm going to try to do that today. <laughs> I don't know how it'll work, but that's what we're doing today. I kind of want to like connect it. But like I don't really do graphic-y looks like that. So I don't really know how it's going to turn out, but um, I guess we'll see together. How about that? Kind of like that. I feel like that's good. I want to make it kind of look spacey, you know? Can anyone relate to C-3PO? Because I know I can. I am a worry wart, you know? I worry about literally everything without fail. And I already think I messed this up. <laughs> You know, just kind of like make it look cool. I don't really do looks like this, as I said. So if I mess up, if it doesn't look perfect, that's why. I'm going to take that brush that I used to put on my primer and kind of see if I can fix just that little area that I messed up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. I'm just trying to like get a base of it down so I can then kind of fix it. I think that's really good actually for you know someone who doesn't really do this <laughs> i kind of want to perfect this but i don't really think i am gonna be able to unless i get like concealer and try to perfect it it doesn't have to be perfect we're not professionals i like to do this for fun i'm gonna use a very flat concealer brush this one is some that i got in my ipsy i want to take my nyx glitter primer so i can keep this very precise so I'm going to take another one of those flat concealer brushes so I can get a close and clean line. I'm going to put this all over my lid, kind of like in a cut crease format, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't know. I don't like perfection. Perfection scares me. Even though I'm sort of a perfectionist, usually a perfectionist when it comes to my makeup for some reason, unless like it's my skin. But if it's on my eyes and I can like make it work or fix it or whatever, then usually I don't really mind. I'm kind of enjoying the way this is looking. I wanted something spacey, something that I normally don't do because I feel like y'all are bored with my looks. I mean, probably not. Now that I've put the glitter glue all over the lid, I want to take one of these golds. I'm going to take this shade called Etiquette on one of those brushes. And this is what's going on the end here. I feel like there's probably an easier way to do this, but uh, I didn't think of that at the time. So this is how we're doing this. This looks expensive. You know, C-3PO, he looks expensive. You see, that's why I laid that glitter primer down because it's literally adhering perfectly to it. Like right where I want that golden color. It's laying down perfectly. And I love that. I love the way it's looking. I think I'm going to use this whole middle row and the super shock on the top as like an inner corner. So I'm going to now go into this shade called translator in the center. It's just like a more muted, not as intense gold. 
and this is going right on the center. I want to use all the gold so you can kind of see the difference between them because at first glance I feel like they can look extremely similar and I don't really want you to be like well I don't really need that because all these golds look very similar. I want you to see all of the looks you can do with this palette and I already kind of see that ombre going on on the eyes. Really like the way this is turning out. I was kind of worried at where this was going but now I'm not worried at all. I'm like this is perfect. I'm gonna kind of fix the brown um around because I want it to be a little deeper and I want you to be able to see it better. I really like this. I'm gonna take the shade golden one which is like an even lighter shade of gold and I'm gonna pick this up on the same brush I just wiped the pigment off and this is what's going closer to the inner corner I'm gonna stop this like right where the brown kind of stops for me that's where I'm gonna stop this shade and I'm kind of trying to blend these shades together as I go and I'm trying to add some final touches to each of the gold I really like the way this turned out actually and I like that you definitely can see the ombre from the darker to the lighter gold already and as a final uh, golden touch I'm gonna take this top shade called bolt I'm pretty sure this is a super shock formula it definitely is very pretty super shock actually you'll definitely see it in the swatches but I'm going to take that on the same brush, really, and see if that shows up as I put it down. Just in the innermost portion. I really would like to use my finger for this, but uh, it never really works very well for me. <laughs> like, my nail just doesn't let me. I think that's look number one completed. I really like that. I think it's kind of spacey, kind of what I wanted. But, like, also wearable. Like, I would wear this out and I wouldn't feel like I'm... You know trying to take over the room i am going to go ahead and prime my second eye and then i will do a more neutrally easy look with the c3po palette Alrighty, so i've primed my eye and we can get started on look number two with this beautiful golden palette so i'm gonna go into the shade companion this is a v205 brush and I'm just gonna pack this right on the crease. I love the tone of this. Like, if you look closely, it kind of has, like, a golden undertone to it. Even though it's more of a brown. But it's, like, a golden brown. It's beautiful. And it's blending out wonderfully. And I'm not having any actual issues. Next, I'm gonna go into this shade called Tatooine. Just to further, like, blend this out. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, too. Also kind of has, like, a golden-y undertone, even though it's, like, a beige. It's, like, a golden beige. And I'm trying to use the shades that I didn't use earlier that way i can use all of the shades in here wonderful base on the eyes with these golden mattes i'm going to take my nyx glitter primer i'm gonna take this on on that same flat brush i took it on earlier and kind of pack this all over the lid to get ready for my shimmers I'm gonna take a V206 brush from Morphe and I want to dip into the sequin shade in here which is 6 million. It has like some gold shimmers in it. I think it's so pretty and I want those glitters to stay which is why I put the glitter primer first and I'm just gonna pat this on the outer corner of the eye. Kind of going in towards the center. I love how the glitter just shines on there. That's really pretty. I love ColourPop sequin shades. I just find that sometimes those glitters don't really stay too well on there, which is why I decided to apply my glitter primer first and see how they stay on with that glitter primer. I'm gonna go back into the shade Companion. Just kind of blend this out further mostly on the edges so i don't really touch the glitters because i really like them and i don't want them to go away for the inner and center of the lid i'm gonna go into the shade called droid which is this top center shade right here and kind of just put this wherever i don't have that sequined matte shade pat it in i'm gonna just blend those two together i think they blend 
very nicely actually because of the golden shimmers it kind of like matches i'm gonna take my finger with that gold shade just so i can further blend these two together going back into that companion shade just to make sure all of this is blended out going into the shade bolt with a pencil brush i'm gonna try to lightly pick some up and i'm just gonna put this right on the inner corner I have two very different eye looks going on, which I enjoy. I like both of them. I think this one's super like spacey and cool, but this one's very wearable every day. Looks very pretty with that sequin shade. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on my lashes and do the rest of my makeup. And then I'll be right back so we can talk about my final thoughts. And this is the final two looks with lashes. I didn't think I'd be this obsessed with this palette. Honestly, I bought it just because I thought it was cute. And I love Star Wars. My final thoughts on the ColourPop X Star Wars C3PO palette. I did use all of the shades today. I thought these shades are very beautiful. I love look number one. I think it's so spacey, so pretty. I paired it with a brown lip to kind of go with the Star Wars theme and overall i'm really loving the way both of these came out i prefer look number one because it's very different for me and it's something that i wouldn't normally do but i'm kind of really glad that i that i did do it i kept the lower lash line very minimal there is some color there but it's so minimal that you can barely tell and you have to be like really up close to actually even see it i love the different shades of gold you get i used the middle row of gold on look number one and you really do see the ombre from light to dark well more like dark to light and then on this eye i did use a sequiny shade i don't really know if you can see the glitters on camera but i can definitely see them up close i used the glitter primer just so i can get a better hold because usually those glitters tend to fall throughout the day so hopefully it will be more visible throughout the night as i continue to wear this it is currently seven so i don't know how long i'm gonna wear this for i am gonna try to edit this video so i can get it up to you but i give this palette a 10 out of 10 this palette retails for 16 dollars by itself i did buy the darth vader palette with this as well because i didn't have that palette but this is a win i love it if you're a fan of star wars and you love c3po and you can relate to him like i can i feel like this is your palette even if you just like the gold tones and you don't really know who c3po is i feel like this palette is very beautiful and i saw a lot of comparisons saying that this palette reminded them of the uh huh honey palette i don't have that palette to compare so i think that this is a beautiful color story all on its own and i bought it because i loved it so overall this gives a thumbs up for me i thoroughly enjoy playing with it today and i can't wait to use it again and with that being said that is today's video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more ColourPop videos from me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys! I think I am going to do two looks I'm so sorry. They love to like yell at each other. I really don't know. I'm not a professional. Prof I'm so sorry if you can hear them in the background. They're very loud. And they're kind of always loud. I can't really do anything. They're my neighbors, so. <laughs> I paired it with a brown lip to kind of go with the, th the far worse <laughs> look number one. And you can really do my eyelashes. Just not coming. It's not giving. Come on. Mm -hmm.